I see, I see. Well, Kiana Patrice Hutchinson was selected to create a design to represent Kingston, Jamaica, at the UNESCO Creative Cities in North America Forum. She's here with us today to catch us up on her work and to talk to us about the project. And I've seen her artwork and I'm just wowed. <laughs> this one behind me, behind me, my Vanna White is not working well. <laughs> this one behind me is called Head Held High Color. Head Held High Color. Mm -hmm. I'm going to talk to you about this piece, but mm -hmm. welcome to Smile. Thank you. You studied pharmacy. Yes. Oh, so you didn't learn yourself. Look here. I don't even know. <laughs> so, from when I was young, I've always experimented with art. So I was kind of inclined to both science and art. So while I did do my degree in pharmacy, I was always just experimenting, started off in photography mm -hmm. and then kind of just widened and widened the scope. And here I am. So this is, so your speciality is digital art? Yes. Okay. So my specialty is digital art, which is essentially art that's created as the word implies digitally. So I do it on my iPad and working digitally, honestly, enables me to collab anywhere in the world because people just send me dimensions of rooms. I create the art and then send the file to the printer wherever in the world and they print and install. And so. let's talk about that wherever in the world yes. because you have pieces all over. Tell us some about some of the honors that you've had by having your work showcased. Sure, okay. Um, more recently and then working back. So I've had, I do augmented reality as well. So I've had some of the AR work at the Bolivia Biennial. I was blessed to have been in Design Miami um, last December mm -hmm. in, the, in the collector's um, showcase. I have projects in Manhattan. I've done stuff in Germany. Um, you have, you yeah. have pieces in Vogue Italia. Right, so the photo of Vogue was pretty cool. Basically, the editors of Vogue Italia have um, a site that you can submit to and then they'll select stuff. And I was happy to have some of my stuff kind of selected as best of. So it's cool because one of the editors had their stuff, my stuff on their Instagram. That was. That was pretty cool. Very cool. Yes. So this has been full time for you. Look at those pieces. So tell me about head, head, held, head held high. Mm -hmm. And I want to know about your process, right? Mm -hmm. Because you said head held high took you three weeks because it wasn't right until it was right, which I <laughs> yeah. understand as a writer. Right? If you're not right, you're already. It does not, yeah. Right. So tell me about the process. Your pieces are so striking. Look at those. Thank you. Wow, 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 wow. <laughs> Yeah, tell me how yes. the process goes. Okay, so the process, well, 98% of my work is commissioned. So somebody will typically send me what the ideal size, the measurements should be, pictures of the space for me to get a vibe. Then I sit, create, create, create. When it's done, then I'll print on various um, types of media. And if it's overseas, then I send the file and they'll print and install there for me. But the process is really just me trying to come up with something that's synergistic for whatever space the mm -hmm. piece will be in. Mm -hmm. mm -hmm. Labour of love? Does it leave you agonising? Do you go to bed with it, wake up with it, dream you about know, it, wake up out of your sleep? I, I tend, I'm a work in progress, right? Mm -hmm. But I tend to obsess over even one millimetre. And a man on a galloping horse won't even see if it's one millimetre. But you will know. But I will mm -hmm. know. Mm -hmm. Yeah. What do you most enjoy doing in terms of, of your digital art? Mm -hmm. is, it, um, is it faces? Is it people? Is it landscapes? Is it abstract? I genuinely have phases. So I can't say that one specific thing is my favorite just all the time. I'm really curious by nature, so I tend to just always be experimenting. So whatever the flavor of the month is, I sit with it. And is there something that particularly inspires you or you draw inspiration? I read that you're always looking for art. Everywhere you go, you're looking for art. Yeah, you know, I, I really, I'm, I'll be inspired by the most random things. But what I will say is people in Jamaica, or just the vibe that Jamaica has, that's just endless Every inspiration. inspiration. Every yeah. single day. <laughs> I know this to be true. Um, so the UNESCO project, how yes. did that happen? Okay, so I collaborate with Kingston Creative. Um, Hi, Andrea. 
<laughs> from time to time and so I did the AR for about 13 of their water lane murals so because they and kind for, of for the folks who don't know augmented oh. reality is augmented reality is essentially when you overlay real life with digital content. So kind of think think if you're using um, maps and you're looking through your phone and you're seeing simulation on top of real world. Right. So that's, okay. that's basically So you put your phone yeah. against it and it just kind of comes alive. Exactly, right. mm -hmm. exactly. So because I have collaborated with Kingston Creative and they kind of have a sense of my work, um, they reached out to me to do this crosswalk in Mexico um, to represent Kingston. And so that was pretty cool. That was pretty cool. So you, did you go to Mexico or did you no, do it right here? No, I did it right here. Oh, okay. So again, digital. working digitally. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. So yeah, I did the file here and then sent it and it got really good reviews. So Do we everybody have that was one? Happy. Yeah, uh, it was, it, okay. it, it's in there somewhere, but basically it's, it's comprised of, of circles with, um, you know, of course, our gold, green and black. Mm -hmm. And I added some elements of black and white and red mm -hmm. as per team suggestions mm -hmm. and it yeah it got painted last weekend i think there wow. so wow. exciting so every dimension you know i said it the, the portrait the landscape the skinny the, it's just amazing is that the aki yeah maybe? yeah 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 so it's it my interpretation Pardon me? Was that a Jamaica 60 piece? Well, it's my Jamaica 60 yes, piece. Yes. <laughs> yes, okay, yes, okay, yes, okay. Yes. You're an Aki lover? You know, I am. <laughs> but I don't love saltfish, so I always ask them to pick up the saltfish. Hence, there's no saltfish on the piece right here, <laughs> just, just the Aki. Tell me a little bit about this piece now. Sure, okay, so it started off, I remember exactly where I was. I was in St. Elizabeth and a lady had a basket of Aki's. So I took a picture of it. I just had it for a while and then I said, you know, to do something you know aki-esque so <laughs> and so, i'm not cooking so it's gonna well, have to be art well yes. <laughs> well yeah. well yeah so you know i kind of just had fun with it and there are about three iterations of this this was the first and it's gotten more three-dimensional as time goes so by. we see but, so 98 yeah. percent of your work commissioned mm -hmm. So I know there are people watching this morning who've seen the work and say, I want to be a part of the 99 to 100% <laughs> cause boy, you are on fire. Oh, so where do we you. find Kiana to be able to commission one of your fantastic pieces? Sure. So I have a website, which is kianpatrice.com. That's K-I-A-N-N-E patrice.com. Is it Kian or Kiana? Kian. So your name is Kian and not Kiano? Mm-hmm, because E at the end, so Kian. So then make you make me call you Well, boxer, you know, I've, you I've heard Armand. worse. I've no, heard no, no, no. <laughs> your name is your birthright, miss. Your, amen. Kian, Kian is Patrice my name. Hutchinson. Thank okay. you. Yes. Yes. So kianpatrice.com, my website. And please reach out to me on Instagram because that's where I kind of update, you know, more frequently. Mm -hmm. So it's at kian.patrice. And just drop me a DM, say hi. Okay. I'd love to chat with you. For Everybody. sure, for sure. And I'm uh, exciting things in the world? Yes. I can imagine. Yes, 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 yes. yes. Like mad science. Yes. <laughs> <That's>, <laughs> <I know. laughs> the evil tattoo <laughs> laugh, yeah. So pharmacy is going to have to kind of take a side seat right now. Because well, this know. is where, this seems to be where your heart is. This is where my heart is. Interestingly, my brain is too, but this is my heart. Okay. Well, we are proud of you. Oh, thank man, you. I see big, big, big things in your future, man. Let me tell you. Kian. Kian, Kian with an E, <laughs> Patrice Hutchinson, um, Jamaican photographer, digital artist, and muralist. Thank you so much for being oh, here this morning. And all the best thank in your you. career. School, almost back in session. Parents struggling with textbook increases. We're going to look at that and how it um, will affect what's going on in education um, right after this break. On behalf of Head Held High and Kian, we'll be right back.